Hello, today we will be talking about sustainability initiatives from the other universities in Canada. I am Tyler Bent, this is Chloe Walsh, this is Chelsea Ose, this is Wayne Rogers, and this is Adel Faison. Thanks. So the universities we have decided to research are University of Manitoba, Carleton University, and Bishop's University. Next. The University of Manitoba has a couple different initiatives when it comes to environmental sustainability, one being their reshop, one being their waste reduction, and the other being waste generated and diverted from landfills. Next. The reshop is designed for students and faculty to be able to resell their old office equipment and office accessories and furniture. This prevents the furniture from ending up in landfills and not being recycled properly. Next. The University of Manitoba is also big on organics collection. They collect pre-consumer organics, which is organics that have are produced after the production of a product and used up before the consumption of a consumer. They, the university also has many drop-off locations around the university, specifically one, one waste bin and compost bin being in every location on campus. And all organics collected are also collected, all, the university also collects organics other than human waste, <coughs> being environmental waste or animal waste, like or animal feces, dead animals, uh, dead plants, dead trees, it, it all gets composted at the end of the day. Next. Organ all the organics that get composted from the University of Manitoba have been reported and the university has collected 58,701 kilograms of compost since 2019. And the University of Manitoba has composted 12.54 tons of compost in 2022 compared to the 8.5 tons composted in 2020. Cut, they've also been cutting down on their waste product produced and the waste being sent off to landfills. The university has cut down from 1184 tons worth of waste to 886.75 tons worth of waste which is a 25.64% reduction in waste over the past two years. And all of this information has been collected from STARS, the STARS Association, and the University of Manitoba's website. Uh, and that is off to Chloe Walsh. So the second university we examined is Carleton University, which has obtained a gold rating for sustainability for, uh, from the STARS program. And when looking at the operating budget for 2023 and 2024, you can see that Carleton University has a $2.2 million sustainability fund. And with that fund, they have made some environmentally responsible upgrades, like changing, putting in LED lights where necessary and upgrading their HVAC system. And by making these upgrades, they have received over $70,700 in incentives. The university also has 15% of their electricity coming from an on-site co-generation plant, which according to Springfield, is a, it simultaneously generates electricity, electric energy and usable heat from one primary source of energy. Um, but basically the university is planning to phase out the use of gas. The, um, the in initiative we wanted to emphasize was Carlton's shift to sustainable transportation and by starting on-campus e-scooter rentals so that students close to campus can travel short distances Without, car, without, carbon emissions. without causing unnecessary carbon emissions. And while reading the Carleton Strive for Sustainability report, you can see that they partnered with Bird Canada to provide the e-scooters. Um, and the university's pilot program, they saw 488 rides, which totaled a 
1,014 kilometers traveled. The university also participated in Let's Bike Ottawa uh, with a staff and faculty team, and they accounted for 5,487 kilometers with 14,000 kilograms of greenhouse gas emissions averted. Coming from the same sustainability report from 2021, Carleton has a 61% um, of on-campus vehicles being electric vehicles, and for the year of 2022 and 2023, they have gone and raised that percentage, which reduces the greenhouse gas emissions by the university. And this is Chelsea. So for the Bishop University, the Bishop University has in, a partnership with Tree Canada, has planted 10,500 trees by the help of students in the environmental club. Same for the University of Manitoba, with partnership with Tree, Tree Winnipeg, has planted 1,389 trees, seedlings. In addition, they are committed in fertilizing trees with compost for the period of 10 years. And I'll pass it to Alex Keith. So, the three initiatives that we're planning for implementation of trans uh, sustainable transportation a tree planning project and a new waste management guideline. So starting with the first one, sustainable transportation. The University of Carlton has already implemented this initiative. So basically they are introduced e-bikes so that students can get around the university easier. This will eliminate the use of uh, combustion cars, which has been known for its pollutants. And uh, <clears throat> oh, and moving to the next one, a tree planning project. So the University of Manitoba and the University of Bishop has both saved money to plant trees and through that way they have planted around 10,500 trees. And moving to the next one, the new waste management guidelines. So in order for a university to be sustainable, it needs to have a very good uh, waste management. So, so the University of Manitoba has created initiatives such as collecting pre-consumer organic waste for for recycling, and through that way they have collected over fifty-eight thousand kilograms of waste. And, uh, and also they have opened a website known as Reshop. So basically what that means is uh, they list their furniture that, that they finished. That Old office furniture? Yeah, their, their office furniture so that students and their faculties can buy it from them. This helps to recycle the products further. Prevents the generation of waste. And it prevents the generation of waste. Next, I pass it to Wayne Rocker. So we're going to talk about uh, considerations of implementing these initiatives. So the first point that we have is funding saved can be reallocated to other parts of the university uh, that need funding. By implementing initiatives aimed at reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions, the university can save money on utility bills and operational costs associated with energy usage. These savings can then be redirected to other parts of the university that may require additional fundings such as academic programs, planting more trees, infrastructure maintenance or research initiatives. Come to the second point that greenhouse gas emissions can be reduced. Many energy saving initiatives such as improving energy efficiency in buildings and promoting e-scooter transportations can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We come to the third point that's energy and electricity will be saved. Implementing energy saving measures such as upgrading to energy efficiency lighting systems and promoting energy conservation practices can result in significant 
reduction in energy consumptions and electricity usage across campus faculties. These savings not only contribute to cost reduction but also help, con also help conserve natural resources and reduce reliance on fossil fuels, thereby promoting environmental sustainability. We come to the fourth point that Acadia can start to be a model to other schools. By successfully implementing and demonstrating the effectiveness of sustainability, sustainability initiatives, Acadia University can serve as a model and inspiration to other, to other educational institutions seeking to adopt similar practices. Sharing best practices lessons learned and success stories can help catalyze broad, broader adoption to sustainable initiatives within the higher education sectors and beyond. Overall, serving as a model for sustainability can have ripple effects beyond the campus, contributing to positive societal and environmental impacts locally. I pass it on to Ted. Thank you for listening to our presentation today. We hope you will consider our initiatives for making our university a better place and a more sustainable campus. Thank you.